Hello and welcome to my tutorial where I gonna show you how to export from DAS 3D Studio to 3D Studio Max in two different formats. The first we wanna try is the newer FPX file format and then the object wavefront format. There are uh, big differences in these formats and I gonna show you the advantage or the disadvantage of the both formats. Uh, please uh, excuse my bad English uh, <laughs> I will try to get my best to drive you through this tutorial. Okay, let's go. I have a pre-made scene. This is a Victoria 4.2 figure and I have applied her uh, beautiful Lana material, you can sh see it here and now we're going to export it out as FPX I've made a folder here, an export folder with Victoria FPX we call it also Victoria 4.2 Now comes the uh, export menu. I don't change anything. I leave all the default settings. The export uh, goes very fast. But now when we go switch to uh, 3D Studio Max and want to import this scene. But first I have made a setup scene. This is a simple scene Sorry. with uh, a background box, four boxes with uh, light material to uh, see light to the reflections uh, from the eyes from Victoria. This box is useless, we don't need that. And now I'm going to import the FBX file. The export from uh, the studio get generates uh, only one file, one FBX file. In this file is the maps are also included. Now I open that with also default settings. I uh, choose default and go down and choose no animation, we don't have any animation and we don't need cameras and we don't need lights that's all uh, it doesn't, I think it doesn't matter if you leave that on but uh, I check it off and now one interesting effect when I import that file now watch the memory usage. Now it's loading and loading. I have three programs open now that uses 3.5 gigabytes. And now watch what happens <coughs> when the FBX is gonna load it. It's just a simple figure with only a high resolution texture but it takes it some time to load it and now watch the RAM goes up near to the maximum amount of RAM I have I have 8 gigabytes on this machine it's just a laptop but it runs well. I hope uh, 3D Max is not crashing now. It's very on the limit. I close that now. Yes, it runs. Victoria is loaded with some blue boxes. I have never found out for what these boxes are. 
maybe for some morphs uh, I don't know but first now I'm gonna to oh, turn her around around 180 degrees so now she stands for this wall looks good everything seems okay but when I now hit the render button you will see something strange in her eyes you can see that near at the iris it is the same color as is from the background when I go a little near oh sorry or I choose my camera and go a little closer and render this you see something uh, I don't know how the background is going through her head behind her eyes and it's just coming up in the front that's the only error or issue when you import an FPX file from DAS everything else seems okay the skin uh, looks grateful it's wonderful when you hit the render button it's uh, it's not a great big difference the shaded preview mode here is really exciting it's nothing to say about that the only only issue is that on the eyes the other thing is is when you open the material editor and get her material take it in you will see the, this is multi sub object material with 29 <laughs> different sub materials this is not really straightforward when you will use that in a game engine or someone else I don't know when you just uh, wanted to render in max this is no problem but for uh, a 3d engine like UDK or whatever I don't know this is not the best solution for your figure but now how to fix her eyes it's very simple when you have it found out it is in the material you gonna search her uh, where is it is it that? no I think it's the iris it's the iris go to the maps and in the opacity map you change the output to 8 now let's see what's happened the effect is gone now the eye is very clear I can get a little more closer to convince you let's take another shot it's gone it's perfect now Victoria is perfect in 3d studio max imported this one little thing that's need to be fixed if you change the view to the side and render this perspective then you're gonna see that the same will happen on this on this place it shines also through but we can fix that in the same way we did it before we only have to choose the right material 
uh, I guess this was the what was it? Oh, the uh, this is called Locrimal. Locrimal. I don't know this word in English. I never heard about that. We do the same in the opacity map. Uh, the output, but a little more higher than before. We change the output to 20. And now hit the render button and see what's. Yeah, it's still a bit left that shines through. Maybe I find it out and I will show it uh, when I have found it. Now I pause the video. Okay, so I'm back. I found it out. So I show you. It's very simple. I'm in the uh, still in the I'll call it Locrimo sub material opacities on I render that and you can see there is uh, uh, still a little uh, little leak where the background is shining through now I'm just uh, deactivate the opacity map and render it again and the leak is gone that's all just uh, deactivate the opacity map uh, there's uh, from my view there is no need for an opacity map this just uh, this uh, locrimo is just this little piece in the edge of the eye hole I don't I don't know for what they need an opacity map it shows exactly the same okay the the one uh, only thing that's left is maybe you can see that the eyelashes are not uh, black from start to end. They are black at the beginning and but but now but at the end they are white. And for that it gives also a little trick. You go to the eyebrow the maps no it's the eyebrows and the eyelashes the eyelashes where are the eyelashes here are the are eyelashes uh, I don't know why but uh, this exported two two times the same map that's exactly the same map for diffuse color and for opacity for opacity this map is okay it's white on black that's good but we don't need that in the diffuse color that's the reason why these eyelashes are white and not black but that is also simple to clean that we go up and remove this map instead we change just the color make it to black and now you can see the eyelashes are black I render that maybe we can see it better the eyelashes are now black if you think the eyelashes are uh, too thin and you want to make it more visible then just simply uh, go in the opacity map to the output and alter the output uh, let's say to 3 now we check that and you can see the eyelashes are really more uh, more visible than before we can change it that to uh, 10 render that now they are too strong my opinion change it back to free and that's it you are free to change the color for what you want 
you don't have to manipulate uh, some texture maps you can all do it here make it blue yeah we can see it very well here My, the color is too dark make it brighter and now we have violet eyelashes really easy so what's the conclusion of exporting and importing FPX files now I could say they are very large you can see the RAM is at the top level but on the other hand it is very simple you can import it the most materials are correct you don't have to tweak uh, many things just a little bit on the eyes that I, that I have shown you and that's all and a big plus don't forget that you have a bone system also applied to the figure when I move Victoria away now you can see her bones you can uh, set a biped from 3D Studio Max in the scene put the BVH file to this biped and animate it and then link the bones to the biped so you can easily animate your figure perfectly textured in 3D Studio Max there are uh, other tutorials on the net to see how exactly this is gone but it's uh, very simple so that's all that's the FBX format export import now in the next tutorial I'm gonna show you another version with object wave ropes